Yes, it's another video. Ah. It's another video from the glamorous and beautiful Miss Victoria Michaels. This video is all about how to style this beautiful mane of hair. So if you want to learn how to make it, well, stick around and watch. We have our wig. It is all brushed out, not free, clean, and ready to be turned into a great big drag hairstyle. <laughs> uh, it is from the great company Mystical Wigs, which you can check out online. Um, and it is from my friend Misty Del Rey. She is so talented and beautiful. And this wig is, I believe it's uh, the shade Pumpkin Spice. But if I got that wrong, I will edit it in the comments below. And what we're gonna do first is we need to put some waves and curls through it, right? So uh, what we're gonna do, I've got a whole lot of these foam rollers that you can just pick up just from your local sort of hair supply uh, place and they just sort of clip together. And what we're gonna do is start putting them in there and then we're going to steam it all and get it set. What you're gonna do is grab a portion of hair from the front, sort of in the middle. You wanna make sure it's no longer than obviously the length of the roller. Um, grab the roller and unclip it and you're going to brush the portion of hair to make sure that it is all nicely clipped together with your roller. Put it around maybe a half to two thirds, and it's um, two thirds, great at maths. Um, there, and what we're going to do is with the top, you're going to flip the top over and tuck it around. And then, keeping the pressure on, you're just going to roll, 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 rolling, keep rolling, and then we're at the bottom, right? So with the clip, you're gonna turn it back so it's as far as, put, like touching the back there as possible, and you're going to clip it into place. Righty, once we've done that entire first row of hair and rollers, we're gonna put our head down, and we're gonna grab another portion of hair, same size, brush it out, obviously again, and we're gonna roll again. However, this time, you're now gonna start putting the rollers on the back side and rolling it sort of the opposite way, so towards the back. We have completed the front two rows of the wig. Thank goodness. And now we're gonna keep working backwards. She is all rolled up. Now, if you need to, you can go back and just re-roll any that you may have missed or you've done too big, whatever. And what we're gonna do now is grab a garment steamer that just steams with the power of water, or hot water, and we're gonna go over and steam it now. And finally, we will put a rubbish bag over the top to really just set the moisture in. And then you leave it overnight. <laughs> Now we're gonna take our plastic bag or rubbish bag, put it over the top, and then stick the steamer up there and just get it all hot and steamy, and then we'll let it sit. <laughs> so all I'm doing is just pumping it full of hot air. You can feel oh, it's toasty, toasty, toasty. And I don't know, leave it in there for a couple of minutes, and then once that's done, then I'm just gonna grab the bottom and tie it off. All right, we're now leaving that to cook overnight. Sizzle, sizzle, bake, bake, bake. To make it a bit easier, what we're gonna do is as we unroll each roller, because there's a lot of teasing, we're gonna tease each sort of portion as we go. 
So you're going to unroll, starting from the bottom, unroll the bottom one. Look at that, a little ringlet. Oh, it's so cool, you can't see. Very cute. Oh. And what we're going to do then is take our teasing brush. And with this one, we're going to just split it in half. I would generally do one track at a time. So grabbing your teasing brush, just comb it out gently and then you're pushing the hair back towards the root very firmly and you want to brush a lot Big, she's all teased up. And now we're gonna start shaping it into place. So using your teasing comb, or you can use whatever you wanna use with, I, using this, you're gonna just start brushing the hair into spots, not into spots, into where you, ooh, into where you want it to go. So what we're going to do now is just continue with the smoothing out. Um, I'm going to take some hairspray as well uh, and we're just going to be brushing it down so all the little hairs are in place. You can use the back of your hand just to help define any little ridges and then just, light, just lightly spray it with hairspray and continue to smooth it all down. Alright, so the back half of the fringe has been pushed sort of backwards and up and over. And with the front half, what we're gonna do is brush it, brush it, brush it. And then you're gonna use your hand or whatever to help shape the curls. So we're going to sort of brush it over the hand. And then with the end part, we're going to flick it back out. And then you should be able to put it into place. Now when it comes to the back, all that we're going to do is I just want the top layer smoothed down and hairspray and then it can just sit in this lovely sort of curl of not going on the back, I'm not going to do too much to it, it can literally just stay as it is, you just want it tidied and the flyaways clean down. And finally we're just going to spray the whole thing with hairspray and we're done. Beautifully stunning, <gasps> it's gorgeous and big, it's bold and it suits this outfit oh something shocking <laughs> this outfit is actually made out of a whole lot of gold paper doilies by yours truly i love it i love the gold it is just beautiful and gold finger-esque anyways if you like this video make sure you give it a like a share a comment tell me what you like what you want to see next i was thinking about maybe doing some sewing videos and yeah, come and find me on Instagram and Facebook and keep an eye out for the next video. Ah, yes, beautiful.